Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to connect your keyboard and your mouse to your Android device. So you actually don't need to root your um, Android device at all. And you also need a computer just to install, install something to your uh, phone, uh, which I assume you guys probably have, because like, why would you have a, a mouse and a keyboard without a computer, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys also want to know how to connect your controller to your phone just click right here okay so the first step is to download an app called octopus i'll leave it in the description down below so you need to install this onto your phone um this app is free and it's also safe because it's off the google play store so just go ahead and install that once you finish installing you just open open the octopus app and this is what it should look like so this app what it basically does it allows you to play any game um, with a keyboard and mouse as you know not all games are actually compatible and so you can add any game that you already have installed on your Android phone and it will duplicate this app and make a new version and so you'll have your original app and you also have a app that is compatible with controller support okay so now we're gonna start connecting our mouse to the phone and also my keyboard to the phone um, Today my mouse is Bluetooth, so I'll be connecting my mouse to the phone via Bluetooth. If you don't have a Bluetooth mouse, you can try using an OTG cable. So right now I'm just going to go to the Bluetooth section. And I'm going to put my mouse into a syncing mode. So I'm just going to hold down the connection mode and it should appear onto my phone. On yeah, onto my phone. So I'm just going to wait for it to connect and you don't need to root your phone to do this. It should be able to already have this feature. All Android phones can connect. So it popped up and it's now connected. And there should be a small mouse on your phone that you can actually move around and everything. Once you've successfully connected your mouse, you've got to now connect your keyboard. So my keyboard doesn't have a built in Bluetooth, so I'm going to be using an OTG cable which is just a, pretty much a USB-C cable which allows you to plug in a USB device into it so I have a uh, this is the OTG cable here and you can see the USB and the USB-C um, so I'm gonna plug that into my phone right now I'm just gonna take off the case because it doesn't really fit in properly um, so I'm just gonna plug it in and I'm also gonna be getting my keyboard receiver and plugging that in so it can connect um, okay there we go so now my keyboard is connected to my phone right now another thing you guys will need to install is this thing called the advanced mode which basically allows you to use your mouse and use it to play games and stuff so you actually do need a computer um, to install this onto your phone so you need to install um, this thing from the octopus website and you plug in your phone to the uh, web uh, into your computer and then you just install it onto your phone it's all safe and stuff um, I'll show you the process in a second okay so the app should have installed quite quickly um, so when it finishes installing you just got to find the folder and then you just got to click um, open so uh, when you first open it it will come with a set of different uh, instructions of what you have to do but I'll just teach you so first you've got to select what company your phone is from uh, so the next step after that is to um, enable developer options and I'll just show you on my phone how you do that so on your phone to enable USB debugging you have to go on settings you click on about phone and then you go to software information and then you click on build number seven times um, I've already activated it so you'll just say I've already got it and the developer options should appear below about phone and then you go all the way down to uh, USB debugging which is over here and make sure it's switched on like it is done here after that you just go on your computer and click activate um, you just okay and just give it some time and it's going to install that um, advanced mode onto your phone um, 
There we go, and it says successfully activated. Now if you go back to the Octopus app on your phone and you click on me, and then you should be able to check and it should say that it has successfully activated. And yeah, so it means that you've got your advanced mode activated on it and you should be good now. Okay, so I'm just gonna, the game I'm gonna be using to show you guys how to set up the controls is going to be Critical Ops. So I'm just gonna, from the Octopus app, click on Critical Ops and I'm just gonna open it. I've sped up the video a bit uh, while I wait for the game to load up and I'm just gonna wait and host the game. Okay, so the game just loaded up. Alright, so when you first enter, the first thing you want to do is click on the um, purple octopus on the side and there's going to be a bunch of options that will pop up. Next you want to go to mode and make sure that keyboard has been selected. Okay, so now you can see that some of the controls have already been set up, but I'm going to teach you guys how you can set up your own controls. Not all games will already have their controls set up for you, so I'm just going to delete some of the controls that they've already set up. Let me just click off all the ones I don't need. Um, you want to first just start off with your WASD, that will be your joystick, and you move it onto where the joystick is actually in the game. Next, just make sure your uh, sight is in the middle, and that will be like how you use your mouse to look around and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna set up some of the other controls. Um, if you wanna make your click button, your shoot button, then on your mouse you have to click, oh wait, sorry, that was a mistake. You drag your fire button, and then you drag it onto the shoot button of the game. So I'm gonna map out the reload control now, and if you, make, you wanna make your reload um, the R button, then on your keyboard, you obviously click R and that will tell the game to make your R button your reload. Same goes for the jump, you just on your um, keyboard click the space bar and that will make your jump your space bar. Okay, so if you guys want to activate your advanced mode and make your mouse be able to look around in the game, then all you have to do is um, make click on the, you, you right click and that should be able to um, let you look around in the game. So I'm just going to right click and there we go, I can look around now. And everything I can shoot, so make sure you click the right button. And you just right click again to get the mouse again. So that's just the button. And if you want to make your buttons invisible or visible, so right now you can see the buttons. And if I want to make it invisible again, I just go to settings, drag the transparency down, and it's all invisible, which looks much better. And you just got to remember all your controls and everything, so yeah. See right now I'm not touching the screen at all, and I'm just playing with the mouse. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you that it also works for PUBG so remember just make sure it's on keyboard mode and you can see that there's a lot of buttons um, that are randomly put and this is the buttons that have been already uh, preset and for this you can also move the buttons around and change them as you like and you can delete them and everything so these are already done by the developers they've already set up the controls but you might want to customize it and change it to whatever you want and so all you have to do is just press on your keyboard to change whatever button you want um, so right now you can see I have the mouse on and I right clicked to get rid of the mouse and you see I can look around and everything the space bu uh, the shift button is now my crouch and if you just click on the blue octopus again you can make all the buttons invisible as the same thing and yeah just right click so you can look around again and jump and so it just basically you're controlling it with your keyboard alright guys so that wraps up my video I hope you guys now know how to use your mouse and your keyboard to play games on your phone this should work for every single uh, game and you don't have to unroot your phone which is pretty cool and so just please leave a like 
if it worked for you and um, if you don't mind subscribing that'd be cool but anyways um, I hope you enjoyed